2020 marks the 25th anniversary of Richard Eyre's stunning production of La Traviata. Violetta's delicate white gown is inspired by Winterhalter's 1865 portrait of Elizabeth, Empress of Austria. The illusion of a fragile Victorian beauty is complete, but it is an illusion. For the stage, modern undergarments are worn, as a corset would restrict the opera singer's diaphragm. This means the weight of the crinoline is taken by the hips instead of by the corset, so there is concealed padding to reduce the pressure. There is a placket or busk at the centre front with hooks and bars which hold the crinoline firm and stop it rotating. In another modern adaptation, the width of the crinoline hoops can be adjusted over a series of poppers. There are even handles at the front of the crinoline to enable the leading lady to lift her skirts and move elegantly and safely about the stage. A quilted petticoat helps conceal the mechanics of the underthings and is closed with hooks and bars and poppers and then tied. The bodice is separate but attaches to the skirt at points. There are a number of bodices and skirts of different sizes and lengths, and they are all interchangeable. The skirt is made up of a number of fragile layers, including silk satin, organza, and crepeline. The bodice is boned and laces in to fit at the back. The outer layer is especially machine embroidered with gold flowers, which are decorated with iridescent crystals. The bertha is made from layers of silk cut to resemble delicate petals, each edged in gold and adorned with a drop of crystal. The jewellery heightens Violetta's beauty and everything shimmers and sparkles under the stage lights. A silk camellia decorates the neckline, held into place by a magnet, and a fine silk shawl is worn loosely across the arms. Verdi based La Traviata on Alexandre Dumas Field's novel The Lady of the Camellias, inspired by the life and death of a real Parisian courtesan. There is an added poignancy in the choice of a dress designed originally for Elizabeth, Empress of Austria, as she too was a great beauty destined to die tragically. The whole effect is magical and ethereal. Violetta looks as beautiful and as delicate as a summer flower.